Hey guys, what's happening? So, I want to show you a tool I designed a few years ago. Um, I just, I, I forgot to upload the video, and uh, it's been sitting on one of my SD cards for a long time, but um, I designed this a few years ago, and it's a cabling pulley for um, running network wires. It could be network wires, low voltage wires, even electrical wires, anything, rope, anything you got to pull. Uh, through like a, I mean, I personally, I designed it for like a running network wires in a plenum area of an office or a warehouse. Um, it's just nice because you don't get your, your wire snagged. Um, plus, I mean, for me, I like to run multiple wires at a time. I mean, I make more money if I run more wires in a single pole. So, uh, the most I've actually run on this thing was eight wires. I'm sure you could run more. Um, yeah, I could actually grab eight wires from a box and pull eight wires at a time. Um, but yeah, it makes it a lot easier to run wires, and uh, I'll show you some of the benefits of this thing, and you know what makes this thing so nice and fast. I mean, I've actually seen other cable pulleys on the market, but not like this. They're all plastic. They're not. They're not strong, you know. Um, but yeah, actually, I was doing a really big warehouse job, and I knew that we're going to be actually like um, high high ceiling, so I didn't want to have to get wires snagged. So uh, to go up and down like on a lift to go up and get the wires in case I got snagged or caught up on something. So I wanted a bunch of pulleys so I could do like a raceway. Uh, but I needed something strong enough to be able to hold it up there. Um, all right, so yeah, I designed this a couple of years ago. I mean, the falling footage will be my original footage of me coming up with the idea and the concept of it. Um, but let me show you this real fast. Um, so one of the cool things, the benefits of this is that you know, when you actually have those network wires running there, um, you need to be able to remove the wire it's quickly, right? And you don't want to, you want to keep the thing mounted, you want it needs to stay mounted, right? But you need to be able to quickly pull the wire. I'm doing this one hand, it's a lot quicker when you're actually with two hands. Um, you know, I can quickly open this up and pull the wires out. So if I had like a bundle of eight wires, I could pull this out and set them aside. And then, that way it would free it up for the next eight eight wire pull. And then it quickly goes back up. I guess I'm doing this with one hand, but with two hands it's one it takes one second. Alright, so hold this camera on camera and a tripod. So it's a matter of doing this. One, out like that. So like when you're in the thing, you can take it off. So this would be actually attached to something inside like the drop ceiling. And so this is actually the bat wing connector. It's actually from a J-hook connector that I just cut out the J-hook and drill a hole. And then that way you could do that. So I don't have to use the bad hook. Sometimes I'll connect this to something more rigid, maybe a piece of conduit up there, some sort of strap that's securely fitted to the ceiling, or any of the warehouse doesn't matter. Um, all right, so I'll put all my uh, all the links down below on Thingiverse. You know, uh, all the stuff. Stuff you only gonna need like a, the S beaner. I have it all links down below on Amazon. J hooks if you want to use that. The S beaner number four S beaner. And uh, these are actually two and a half inch uh, EMT uh, conduit straps. But yeah, if you said you want to see how I designed it and kind of came up with the idea, um, these are like some of my old videos that are going to come up after this. Um, you can tell because I'm talking a lot faster. <laughs> I think I was a little spazzier back then. Um, okay, so, alright guys. Yeah, this thing's great. So if you guys, uh, if you need it, you know, let me on my Thingiverse page. And, you know, works great. Guys, I want to show you a project I've been working on. Um, I'm actually making some pulleys for a uh, some low voltage wiring. Uh, this is gonna actually help me uh, pull wires in the uh, plenum area of a uh, office or business. But uh, yeah, these are actually gonna be uh, low voltage, like Cat5, Cat6, Cat7 wire pulleys. And I actually had made a couple that, that were in black, but then I realized that you know when we're up in a plenum area with a drop ceiling. Lots of times it's pretty dark up there and you can't really see, so I decided to get some uh, orange uh, filament and print them out of orange here. So there's actually a couple areas for ball bearings. I'll put links for it where I, uh, you can get this pulley. I'm going to make uh, some uh, wire pulleys. Yeah, I'm going to get some aluminum straps and uh, I'm actually going to be printing out another one right now. And if you're wondering what this is in the background, I'm actually making another video about this. I'm fixing this uh, basement arcade. Yeah, it's uh, based on Raspberry Pi, Retro Pi. But uh, I'm having issues with it. So, what's well, actually a customer is it goes in a dental office. So, gonna be reloading the OS on that thing and getting going for that. But that's not this video. So, yeah, I gotta make some uh, things here and 
kind of sucks is uh, I'm actually I'm an IT guy and uh, I'm a cabling contractor, but I can't show you a lot of the work that I do because it's I can't show you a customer's data center. So it's kind of a bad form to be showing uh, the internal workings of a business, their their data operations. So um, all right, we'll get this going. I gotta get some aluminum pieces, and uh, I already have the ball bearings, skateboard ball bearings. So uh, I think it's are 603 or 608. But uh, all right, we'll get it going. All right, so here's an update to the project. So got the pulleys done, bearings in there, and I got the rest of the materials to finish this. And uh, all right, all right, printing out a cup holder right there. It's kind of cool, a little gear. So this is my uh, old printer bot that's has like the uh, the knockoff on tech on there. This thing's been going for a while now. So all right, um, yeah, it's a pencil holder, a gear pencil holder. All right, cool. So let's get this going. All right, so I got a sheet of aluminum here, and I don't know if it's going to be rigid enough to hold this. Um, but I kind of wanted this to be light because I have to lug all these things around. And I got these like push pins, or oh, Ace Hardware, and I thought I need a, a way to be able to get these pulleys out or, or the wires out of these things really fast. You know? Like I need to be able to pull these things in and out fast because, I mean, I don't want to spend an hour trying to pull a bunch of wires out of these pulleys because, I mean, like I said, we want to be able to make a lot of money, you know, or at least speed up the process. We can pull five, ten wires at a time and not have any snags. I'll show you that once we're when I'm done with the pulleys, the thing actually in operation on a real wiring job, but they'll pull this out rapidly and get the pulley off there and the wires off onto a J-hook. But, uh, yeah, I can't do this with one hand, but it, I can just slam this certain thing back out. So the concept was to build like a like a metal thing, a structure around this that can actually then hang from a uh, like a bat wing or some kind of the wire structure or drop ceiling cable. Or I'm gonna create some sort of mount, like a multi-use mount. I just don't know if this is gonna be rigid enough. You know, I don't have an aluminum welder, but I do have a steel welder, a Megan stick, but all right, guys. Here we go. So we'll get it going. Oh, that's good. All right, guys. I don't know what I'm thinking here. I'm thinking I was trying to reinvent the wheel, and I'm thinking to myself. I mean, I've seen this shape before. I've seen the exact shape that I want before. So I don't know if this will fit, but I actually we strapped conduit on the wall when we're running data cables down it. So. This is two and a half, I might need to go bigger, but. Check it out. <laughs> it's like, why am I bending, bending metal here when all I need to do is get a, get a strap, conduit strap. I mean, I could probably bend these to make it work, but I mean, I'll look at my box, see if I have a three inch or I know I have different sizes, but uh, you know, look at that. It's got to drill some five, six inch hole and that'll be it. All right, all right. So I got a couple of these, and uh, just drill a couple of holes through there. Yeah, I'm glad actually I uh, thought about it for a little bit because I knew I'd, I'd seen someone with that shape before. So it's like, and actually it was cheaper to go this route too. So let me. I also got these right here. These little dual carabiners. All right, guys, there it is. I'm actually going to put a bat wing uh, connector on the end of that. I'll show you that when I'm I uh, when we do the uh, install. I'll show this things. I'll show you this in action. But uh, pretty cool, huh? Ball bearings, nice and smooth. Oh, I forgot. The reason why I have to uh, have it like this is because. Once you're in there, you have to be able to take the wires out. So I needed to be able to either pull the wheel out, like you saw the pin on the other one, or somehow be able to get the wires out. So that's the uh, that was a the trick there. But, uh, cool. Put some links. But uh, yeah, this thing is perfect right here. The uh, conduit. So this is actually an EMT conduit strap, and uh, it's designed for like going in like a U channel for putting conduit on the wall. So we, we actually use conduit all the time for running our pipes up into the data center or the server room, wiring closet, whatever, you know. 
these fish are network wires down into it. But uh, all right, cool.